In this episode, I talk about the role of controlling moods in photography. I talk about the importance of emotions in photography and give you examples to help you use them to, in telling the story. All that and more, this is The Photography Junkie. Hey everyone and welcome to episode 25 of The Photography Junkie. I'm your host Jay and today we're going to talk about how to control emotions in photography. But before I go into that, I wanted to apologise to anyone who was expecting the show on to come out on Monday. I have had a lot on recently in that I was told my day job contract was going to be ending and so I've been frantically uh, looking for a, a new job. Along with that, Monday morning posts were not really performing as much as uh, evening posts would and so I've decided to release on Saturday evenings instead uh, just going forward. And so you can expect the episodes to come out uh, every Saturday evening now, in regards to the job side of things, uh, don't worry about my job situation. I have actually managed to land possibly the most perfect job for me, uh, doing website marketing and product photography as part of as as the head of like a, a creative team. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, I can't give too many details as I'm under NDA for a lot of what I do. But I'm hoping that in the future, I'll be able to add behind the scenes stuff for the commercial photography aspect of what, what I do. So that's the update about me and what's going on with the uh, show going forwards. Now let's dive deep into today's subject, which is uh, all about controlling emotions in photography. Photography to me has always been much more than capturing mere images. It's about capturing emotions and stories. Throughout my journey as a photographer, I've come to realize that emotion is the beating heart of this art form. This is the key ingredient that elevates a photograph from a snapshot to a compelling piece of visual storytelling. One of the most powerful aspects of photography is the ability to convey emotions. Whether it's joy, sorrow, excitement, nostalgia, Emotions play a pivotal role in creating visually striking and emotionally resonant images. Let me illustrate this with a personal example. I once captured a photograph of a child playing in the rain. His face lit up with sheer joy. Uh, the image just didn't just depict a scene, it captured the innocence and unbridled happiness of childhood. The viewer could connect with the photograph on an emotional level, reminiscing about their own carefree days of youth. We all remember those, don't we? Emotion in photography goes beyond just showcasing happy moments. Some of the most powerful images are those that depict raw and authentic emotions, even if they are difficult or painful. I remember seeing a series of photos taken at a refugee camp where the expressions on people's face uh, told stories of dis despair and resilience. These images evoked a deep sense of empathy and stirred the emotions 
urging them to contemplate the harsh realities faced by le those less fortunate. Photographers must master the art of capturing fleeting moments of human emotion. To, the, to do this, one needs to be patient, observant and empathetic. It's not just about taking pictures, but about understanding the context, the people, the situations that lead to those emotions. For example, when photographing a wedding, it's not enough to click pictures of the, of the bride and groom smiling. It's about capturing the anticipation, the nervousness, the tears and the joy that mark this significant day in their lives. Colour, composition and lighting are essential tools to convey emotions in photography. The choice of colours can enhance or change the mood of an image. For instance, a uh, warm Vibrant colours can evoke a sense of happiness and energy while cool muted tones can create a more serene and introspective atmosphere. The composition can direct the viewer's attention and amplify the emotion within the frame. A tightly cropped image of a couple holding hands may emphasize the their intimates their intimacy and love while a wider shot of the same scene might emphasize the the beauty of the surrounding landscape lighting plays a vital role in setting the mood and highlighting the subject a softly lit portrait can convey tenderness while dramatic lighting may intensify emotions such as mystery or passion. Emotion in photography also depends on the choice of subject. A candid shot of a child's laughter, a couple's stolen glance, or an elderly, pers or an elderly person's smile can convey emotions more effectively than staged poses. It's the moments of vulnerability, authenticity, that truly resonate with viewers. Uh, candid photography in particular uh, captures the beauty of life's unscripted moments and the emotions that accompany them. The most, one of the most potent aspects of photography is the ability to evoke nostalgia. Looking at old family photographs can transport you back in time, evoking a flood of emotions. Photographs have the unique power to preserve memories and emotions, allowing us to relive moments long after they've passed. A faded vintage photograph of a grandparent can evoke feelings of love, respect and nostalgia, underscoring the timelessness of emotionless in photography. The art of black and white photography also plays a significant role in conveying emotions. Stripped of colour, black and white images emphasise the essence of a moment, focusing solely on the subject's emotions and interplay of light and shadow. This timeless approach has been used by photographers like Ansel Adams to capture the grandeur of nature and by Dorothea Lange to document the struggles of the Great Depression. These photographs tell stories that transcend time, allowing viewers to connect with the emotions that they convey. Emotion is the essence of photography. It's what enables a photograph to transcend the boundaries of time and culture, connecting with viewers on a deeply emotional level. Whether it's joy, sadness, love or nostalgia, emotions give life to photographs and allow them to resonate with the audiences. To be a skilled photographer is to be a master of emotion. 
capable of freezing moments in time and making viewers feel the sentiments embedded in those captured frames. In each click of the shutter, we become not just photographers, but also storytellers, using the language of emotion to communicate the essence of the human experience. Expanding on the role of emotion in photography is essential to explore how photographers can effectively capture and convey these emotions. This process often involves interplay of various different elements and techniques that come together to create a powerful and evocative images. One of the fundamental elements in eliciting emotion in photography is timing. The art of capturing the decisive moment, as famously advocated by Henri Cartier-Bresson. This is all about recognising and seizing that, sl that, that split second where emotions are most palpable. For instance, the moment of a groom sees his bride walking down the aisle with tears in his eyes and a smile on his face it is an instance of pure unfiltered emotion that must be seized instantly. The choice of perspective and framing is another crucial aspect. Different angles and compositions can either intensify or diminish the emotions conveyed in the photograph. Shooting from a low angle, for example, can make a subject appear more dominant and powerful, while a high angle might make them seem more vulnerable or submissive. In the context of emotion, it's vital to select the angle that best aligns with the narrative you want to convey. For instance, a low angle shot of a child reaching up to hold their parent's hand can emphasize innocence and trust within the relationship. Furthermore, post-processing and editing techniques can significantly influence the emotional impact of, photo of a photograph adjusting the contrast, saturation and tonal balance can help you out the underlying emotions in an image. For example, enhancing the contrast in a portrait can emphasize the subject's facial expressions while desaturating the colors can create a more somber and introspective mood. Additionally, the choice of lenses and focal lengths can dramatically affect how emotions are portrayed. A wide angle lens can incorporate more elements into the frame, making it suitable for capturing the broader context and emotions with it. On the other hand, a telephoto lens can isolate the subject from the surroundings, allowing for a more intimate and emotionally charged depiction. The choice between these lenses depends on the story that the photographer wishes to tell. Moreover, the use of depth of field is essential. Selectively focusing on a subject while blurring the background also known as bokeh, can draw the attention can draw attention to the subject's emotions. For example, photographing a musician in the middle of a heartfelt performance with a shallow depth of field can isolate them from the audience and emphasize the intensity of their emotions. To delve deeper into the concept of emotion in photography, it's essential to discuss the various categories of emotions that photographers often seek to capture. These emotions encompass a wide range and understanding them can be instrumental in creating emotionally resonant images. Happiness and joy. These emotions are often the most accessible and universally relatable. Capturing 
genuine smiles and laughter and expressions of delight can result in heartwarming photographs, whether it's children playing in the park or a couple on their wedding day, or friends sharing a humorous moment. Happiness and joy are emotions that bring positivity and a connection to a photograph. Sadness and sorrow. Emotions on the opposite end of the spectrum, such as sadness and sorrow, can be equally compelling subjects for photographers. These, motion, these emotions can be seen in moments of loss and grief and contemplation. A photo of a solitary figure under a rainy sky or a close-up of tearful eyes can evoke profound feelings of empathy and understanding. Love and affection is a love is a complex and multifaceted emotion and it often takes center stage in photography from romantic love between couples to the unconditional love of a parent for their child. These emotions are rich sources of inspiration for photographers. A candid shot of a couple's embrace or a father holding his newborn child can communicate love and connection in its purest form. Fear and anxiety. These emotions are the building blocks of suspense and tension in photography. Photographers can use techniques such as dramatic lighting, shadow play to evoke a sense of unease or anxiety. An image of a person walking through a dimly lit alley or an isolated figure in a vast empty landscape can create an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. Surprise and amazement. Capturing moments of surprise and amazement can result in visually engaging photographs. A child's expression while opening a birthday gift or a traveler's reaction upon witnessing a breathtaking natural on a breathtaking natural wonder can be visually striking and emotionally engaging. Nostalgia. Nostalgia is a powerful and universal emotion that connects us to our past. Photographs have an extraordinary capacity to evoke nostalgia as they serve a tangible reminders of moments long gone. Old family photographs, vintage objects and even sepia toned images can transport viewers back to in time, stirring up memories and emotions associated with a bygone era. Anger and frustration. Emotions like anger and frustration can manifest in the form of clenched fists, uh, frowned brows or intense gazes. These emotions often convey a sense of conflict and tension in a photograph. A protester's face contorted with anger and an athlete's expression of frustration after a missed opportunity can capture the intensity of these emotions. Contentment and serenity. Emotions like contentment and serenity can be depicted through tranquil and harmonious scenes. A photograph of a serene sunset over a calm lake or a person meditating in peaceful garden can communicate a sense of inner peace and tranquility. Understanding these diverse categories of emotions and how to convey them through photography is a dynamic and ongoing process for any photographer. It involves keen observation, empathy and the ability to adapt to a wide range of situations and subjects. The power of storytelling in photography is another dimension of emotion that cannot be overlooked. A single photograph can tell a story, evoke emotions and transport viewers and transport viewers into a different world. Think of iconic photographs like Migrant Mother by Dorothea Lann, 
which captured the hardships of the Great Depression, or The Kiss by Alfred Eisenstadt, taken on VJ Day, portraying the exuberance and relief at the end of the World War II. These images tell a story that evoke emotions and that transcend time. Narrative photography involves not just capturing a single emotion, but crafting a series of images that convey a broader, more complex emotional journey. On a, hum on a humanitarian mission can take the viewer through a range of emotions from empathy for those in distress to admiration for the relief efforts. Storytelling and photography often requires careful planning and sequencing of images, with each photograph contributing to the overall narrative impact and emotional impact. Moreover, photographers often draw information Photographers often draw inspiration from various art forms, including literature, music, and painting to infuse their work with emotions. For instance, a photographer might take cues from a particular poem or song to create a visual representation of the emotions expressed in those works. The visual arts have a unique ability to transcend the boundaries of language and communicate emotions universally. The use of symbolism is another powerful tool in photography to convey emotions. Certain objects or elements within a photograph can carry a deep emotional significance for example, a photograph of a wilted rose on a deserted table can symbolise lost love or heartbreak, while a photograph of a lone tree standing amidst a barren landscape can symbolise resilience and hope. The choice of symbolism can add layers of meaning and emotions to the image allowing the viewers to engage more deeply with the photograph. Furthermore, photographers often explore the concept of juxtaposition to create emotion evoking contrast. Placing two seemingly unrelated elements in the same frame can generate uh, powerful emotions. For example, a photograph of a homeless person sitting beside a luxury car can evoke feelings of inequality and social injustice. Juxtaposition can be a compelling tool for challenging the preconceived notions and sparking discussions about various social and cultural and emotional issues. In the digital age, the role of emotion in photography has expanded and evolved with the advent of social media and the, wide skip, the widespread sharing of images, photographers can reach global audiences with their work. This digital platform allows for the instantaneous conveyance of emotions, making it easier to elect reactions from viewers. One example of this is the hashtag campaign, hashtag this is my happiness, initiated by the National Geographic Society. Photographers from around the world shared images that encapsulated what happiness meant to them. The campaign generated a wealth of images that resonated with people across cultures as they all depicted moments of joy and happiness. It's like a testament to the universal appeal of emotional photography and its ability to connect people from diverse backgrounds. The world of street photography provides another fascinating realm where emotion takes centre stage. Street photographers often capture candid 
unscripted moments in urban environments where a myriad of emotions can be found. Whether it's a fleeting smile exchanged between strangers on a busy street or the wariness etched into the face of a vendor in a crowded market, street photography has the power to offer a window into the human experience and the emotions that define it. In recent years, the genre of mobile photography has gained significant prominence with smartphones equipped with high quality cameras People from all walks of life have become photographers, capturing moments of their daily lives and sharing them on social media platforms. These images often focus on the beauty and emotions found in the everyday, uh, emphasizing that powerful, photo that powerful photographs can be created with the simplest of tools. In the context of mobile photography, applications like Instagram have given rise to a new visual language. Filters, overlays and hashtags have become integral components of storytelling through images. These tools now allow photographers to enhance and stylize their photographs creating visual narratives that resonate with a, a broad audience. For example, applying a nostalgic filter to a photograph can evoke feelings of sentimentality, while adding a vibrant high contrast filter can enhance excitement and energy of a scene. Emotion in photography is also closely intertwined with the concept of memory. Photographs serve as memory capsules, preserving moments and emotions that would otherwise fade with time. The act of flipping through an old photo album or scrolling through a digital gallery can transport us to different chapters of our lives, evoking a tapestry of emotions. One of the most profound examples of photography's role in memory is found in the field of documentary photography. Documenting significant events and historical moments such as wars, revolutions and social movements, photographers capture raw and powerful emotions that become historical records. Images like the Napalm Girl photograph taken during the Vietnam War or the Tank Man image from Tiananmen Square uh, protests encapsulate the bravery and fear and determination of those involved in these pivotal moments. Photography's ability to capture a moment also extends to portraiture. A well-executed portrait can reveal the depth of a person's character and emotions. For instance, the enigmatic smile in Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa or the expression in Steve McCurry's Afghan Go. The photographs are iconic examples of portraiture that convey enigmatic emotions that have become timeless works of art. Furthermore, the collaboration between photographers and their subjects plays a significant role in electing genuine, powerful emotions in portrait photography establishing a connection with the subject, gaining their trust and creating a comfortable environment are all essential aspects of portrait photography. A subject's emotions are often best captured when they feel at ease and can express themselves naturally. For example, portrait photographer Diane Arbus was known for her ability to connect with her subjects, often photographing individuals from marginalised communities where, in ways that conveyed their unique and complex emotions. The relationship between emotion and photography is not limited to still images. The world of motion pictures, including films and documentaries, harnesses the power of moving images to create emotional narratives. 
Cinematography, a close relative of photography, utilizes a combination of visuals, sound and storytelling to convey complex emotions. A well-crafted film can immerse the viewer in a range of emotions from suspense of a thriller to the heartwarming moments of a romantic comedy. Photography's influence on the film industry is also evident in the concept of cinematic photography. This style of photography, often associated with film posters and promotional materials, seeks to capture the essence of a movie or its characters. These cinematic images aim to evoke the emotions and atmosphere of the film, drawing viewers into the narrative even before they watch it. In recent years, photography has also played a pivotal role in addressing critical social issues. Documentary, documentary photographers have utilised their skills to shed light on important subjects such as human rights, environmental concerns and social justice by capturing images that evoke empathy and provoke thought. Photographers can contribute to the raising and awareness driving change. For example, the work of photojournalist James Natchway has become instrumental in raising awareness about conflicts, disasters and social injustices, evoking strong emotions that spur action. In a world that's increasingly visual, photography has become a language of its own capable of transcending linguistic and cultural boundaries. Emotions are universal and photographs that capture these moments can connect with people from all walks of life, allowing them to emphasize, reflect and gain a deeper understanding of the world. Moreover, the role of emotion in photography extends to the concept of self-expression. Many photographers use their art as a means of expressing their own emotions, experiences and perspectives. It becomes a form of therapy almost, a way to make sense of the world or, me or it's just a means of introspection. Artists such as Francesca Woodman, known for her introspective self-portraits, and Dwayne Michaels, who use sequences of images to explore emotions and narratives, have shown how photography can be deeply personal and emotional medium. Furthermore, the concept of memory in photography cannot be overstated. Photographs are not merely images, they are containers of emotions, moments and stories frozen in time. A family photo album can be filled with images of birthdays, holidays and milestones that become a treasure trove of emotions, allowing us to relive those precious moments. Each photograph is a portal to a specific time and place and when we and when we revisit them, we reawaken those emotions tied to those memories. Photography also has the unique ability to transcend linguistic barriers. It communicates universally, making it a powerful medium for conveying emotions. When we see a photograph of a child's laughter, a weathered face that tells the story of a lifetime, or a loving glance between two people. We don't need words to understand the emotions behind the image. Emotions in photography are a universal language that speaks directly to the human heart. In the realm of art photography, emotions are often explored in abstract and surreal ways. Artists like Salvador Dali and Man Ray use photography to create dreamlike, emotionally charged images. These photographs tap into the subconscious and evoke emotions that are not always readily apparent. 
the challenge viewers to interpret and connect with the images on a deeply emotional level, often leaving them with a sense of intrigue and wonder. Photography also plays a role in shaping cultural and societal perspectives on emotions. For example, the LGBTQ plus movement has used photography to capture the diverse spectrum of emotions within the community, from pride and joy to struggle and resilience. The Love is Love campaign featuring photographs of same-sex couples celebrating their love was instrumental in changing perceptions and promoting acceptance. These images challenged societal norms and evoked empathy and understanding. So, in summary, the role of emotion in photography is a multifaceted and profoundly influential. It encompasses a wide spectrum of emotions from happiness and love to sadness and fear, and it has the power to connect with viewers on a deeply personal and universal level. Photographers are not just image makers, they are storytellers and emotion conveyors, capturing moments and feelings that become timeless treasures. Emotion in photography is the heart and soul of this form, transcending boundaries and speaking directly to the human spirit. It's a visual language that resonates with all offering shared emotional experience that is both powerful and enduring. So, I hope you found that enjoyable. Drop a comment on the post below as it really helps the channel. If you liked this week's episode and would like to hear more similar types of content, hit the subscribe button and I will bring you content every week. If you got this far, pop your favourite emoji in the, in the comments. As always, there will be a full write-up over at thephotographyjunkie.com where you can find that and much, much more. Just remember, it's easy if you put the effort in. This is The Photography Junkie.